It's the first Sunday of the month and that means it is time for the RGT elimination race. One that I did alright in last time. I don't know how I'm going to do this week. Still feeling quite tired in the legs but I did feel relatively strong on yesterday's group ride. So fingers crossed this goes okay but we're going to get everything loaded up and jump on the bike and I'll see you there. All right, we have got 20 seconds to go before the race starts. Put myself in a slightly different position on the screen, uh, just so as to not block the riders. Seven people tonight, so it's going to be quite a quick race. Unless anyone else is going to drop in at the last minute, it doesn't look like it. So we've got uh, slightly, uh, around about a kilometre lap of the airport. Uh, we're going to do two positioning laps. At the end of the positioning laps, people have to be behind me. To make sure that we all start off at a fair pace uh, on, and no one starts racing on the positioning laps but uh yeah i'm just going to get these two laps out of the way and then we'll see what happens with the race from there all right we're about to come around to start the race seven riders e langva great to have you back with us eric myself c wearing a evans b bishop j robinson and c Moore. just gonna Round this corner, make sure I'm slightly ahead, not causing any issues with distance behind me. Seymour has dropped off a little bit here. We're about to come down to start. I'll up the pace a little just to make sure I am in front. And the race begins now. Let's go. Try my hardest. Someone's attacked from behind there. Seymour, that was clever. Attacking from distance. I'm going to try and keep up. Come on. Oh, thankfully, I'm not out first. We did manage to bridge that gap to Eric. Seymour. Now, just try staying with the group if I can. He's a very strong rider than with tonight. Oh, just got through that one too. Jay Robinson, the next to go. Oh. Oh. Just, just stayed in that time. Oh, sprint to the line there, crazy. Oh. I think. That was C wearing, it went that time. Four of us left. <coughs> oh, I can't catch them. They're far too strong for me. That's me out. Oh, uh, I pressed the wrong button. I was trying the F4 button to see if I could see the rest of the result. Well, uh, race, I uh, pressed uh, Alt F4. Obviously that closed the program down, well done. Oh, uh, I'll find out afterwards what the results were with the three guys that were left. Uh, uh, what an idiot. What an idiot. Oh, but uh, yeah, we finished that pretty much before the, the cool down ride in Zwift has even started. So I'll jump over there and find out who won. Final results, Eric came in first, Ben in second and Colin in third. Great racing, everybody. I'm really sorry that I messed up the recording at the end. I've just finished the cool down ride. I didn't do the full hour. I did one lap of the Greater London Flat, I think it's called. Uh, I'm just going to jump off now, have a shower, enjoy what is left of the weekend with my wife and just chill out a little bit. So I will catch you soon. We jump forward now to Thursday already. It has been a busy start to the week for me. Um, th Sunday we had a barbecue to celebrate the Jubilee just as a, a street. And I think I might have eaten something funny because I was uh, using the bathroom for most of the night Sunday night. Uh, it seems to have settled down as the week's gone on, which is good. Uh, I assume that's what it was and hopefully not a recurrence of the stomach issues I've had before. 
Uh, but then I went straight into a really, really busy week this week. I've had a report to do for a meeting that happens tomorrow. Just press send on that. So hopefully I can have a little bit more of a chilled out evening uh, and day tomorrow. Aside from that, we've got the race. Tonight we're doing a TT race, five laps of the Crit City course, the one that goes, is it down, not downtown Dolphin, the other one, uh, the Bell Lap, I think it's called. Five laps of that, it's only 10K, it's gonna be fast on TT bikes. So I'm gonna go and get dressed, jump on the bike, and let's see how this one goes. We're going eight seconds. Just gonna wrap the, uh, the legs up, try and get a good start off the start, but as usual, I can't, as is a TT, there isn't trying to grab a draft or anything like that. It's a solo effort. And uh, hopefully, there are a few people around my sort of standard that I can enjoy a race with. As, uh, as we go up that little incline, people have disappeared in front of me, but I'm just gonna try and settle into a rhythm. Only five laps, 10 kilometers. Surely I can do that, can't I? All right, we're coming around to complete the first lap. Already, only three minutes gone. I caught Rebel Spawn on that hill. I've managed to maintain a six second lead. He's with Seacross and our Prince with Aloyd just behind. I did put in a bit of an effort to see if I could catch DC marks, but that's beyond me. I was pushing a bit too hard, I think. I just have to maybe back it off a little bit now. But uh, let's get up this hill again. All right, coming around lap two then. So 13 seconds behind DC marks and extended somehow to a 14 second lead to the guy behind. I don't know if I can keep this pace up all the way though, if I'm honest. I know it's a quick race, but I'm treating it that way. I'm putting out what I can. All right, coming around to end lap three. I've been really trying to push up the rollers because that's where I lose time. You can see with the big red spikes, that's where we've been up that hill. Two laps to go, 20 second gap to our Prince. I have to start keeping an eye on the watts for a kilogram soon. Let's get up again. I'm struggling now to put out consistent power. It's uh, either spiky red or backing off. Oh, right now. Just over a lap to go. 25 second lead over our print. And hopefully I'll get round. I think I just about will before being lapped. Well, I didn't get lapped. Onto the first, last and final climb up this hill. It's rolling hill. Let's push and get up there and try and keep my lead. Come on. All right, coming around to cross the line. 100 meters to go. Oh, there wasn't it much of a battle with people, but I really enjoyed that. I kept pushing, gave everything I had. Uh, and uh, I know when you, you're stuck on your own sometimes, you don't want to, it's hard to push yourself, but it's something I've kind of got over recently that I still push, still going to get benefit from pushing. So I still push as much as I could there. Oh, 171 average uh, heart rate. 266 watts average. I mean, it's over 16 minutes, so doesn't mean a lot, but really happy with that. I'll uh, see the other guys cross the line and then we'll have a wrap up the results. Right, I've moved myself to the top corner. Let's have a look. So John Bushell wins it by a 16 second gap, 388 watts average. Uh, awesome effort. N Corbin in second, 14.10. 12 seconds behind Jonesy in third, just a few seconds behind, see White, 183 average. I know you run with a, a higher than usual heart rate. Uh, N Slevin in fifth, 14.27, so again, just a couple of seconds behind. 10 seconds behind that, C Waring in sixth. I don't think we've got any A cuts tonight, have we? So they're all B cats. C Swan in seventh, 14.38. K Pilkinen in 14.45 in eighth. C. Finlayson in ninth, J. Robinson, 10th, C. Cole in 11th, uh, A. Bullimore, 16.12 in 12th, D. C. Marks, whoops, 
DC Mark's just behind. I saw you for a little while. I was trying to catch up with you, but uh, yeah, that, you've ended up with quite a big gap over me in the end there, haven't you? Julia in 14th. I saw you and I, the number came, the distance came down for a little while. I just didn't have anything left to try and catch you. Me in 15th, 16.40. Our Prince in 16th and Seacross. 17.35, Rebel Sport in 18th. Uh, the three of you guys were very close together for the first couple of laps. Must have split out as the race went on. And then Aloyd in 19th. Brilliant racing, everyone. Didn't look like too many sprints to the line, but TTs are just that. You just have to bury yourself and, and do what you can. Like, as I said, when you're, I find sometimes when I'm on my own, uh, the mental side of just to keep pushing. That's uh, something that I've changed in... In the last few months, I think, where I'm, I'm more determined to just push myself a little bit more, even if I've got no, no other around me. But having said that, a lot of the races we've done recently, I've had people around me to kind of challenge. So, oh, short, 16-minute race, but still good fun and you still have to bury yourself. But, uh, yeah, I, I thought about going for another ride now, but I've had such a busy week, to be honest. I just want to go and get some dinner and watch a film or something. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you soon. It's Saturday, I spent a couple of hours in the garden today just having a chat and a coffee and, and then boom, hay fever, which I've not had at all so far this year and my nose has not ru stopped running ever since, which is quite frustrating. Um, I did jump on and do the Saturday morning bandy group ride this morning, hour long ride, a good chat on Discord as usual, but I tell you what, I did struggle to get my legs going today. I don't know what it was. I don't know whether I've still got the race from Thursday night in my legs still, which was weird because that's only was only a 16 minute race, although it was pretty full out. Um, but yeah, I, I just it took a long time to get going. I didn't feel like I could push at the high level of watts or anything. So hopefully that was just a one off. But it was great to have a ride anyway and have a good chat with people. My riding this week has been very sporadic and very short. As I said before, it's been a really, really busy week with work as it has been really since sort of March time or all the way through till now. I jumped, as you saw, I did the elimination race on Sunday. Tuesday night, I did manage to get on and do 45 minutes of the trundle, but I had to get off to get some work completed. Thursday, obviously a very, very quick race and then the ride today, which means none of that has been particularly long and there hasn't been any other rides in amongst that either. I just I haven't had the time, unfortunately. And that's something I need to work on. I need to find time to do longer rides. It's the kind of thing that suffers a little bit when you're trying to do, get fit the work in, fit family life in. Unfortunately, cycling and then obviously the videos, which I missed Wednesday's video this week because I just didn't have time to put one together. Those are the things that unfortunately, although they're the things I enjoy the most, kind of, I enjoy the most second to spending time with the family. I should, I should say that. But uh, yeah, I just... It's the thing that falls down, unfortunately, which is a pretty annoying and I need to find ways of fitting rides in, hopefully longer ones in the coming weeks as well. Talking about our rides, if you do want to come along to any of the rides, all the information is in the description below. This week coming, we have the Tuesday Trundle on Tuesday night. Our race night is Thursday night. The Bandy Group Ride on Saturday morning. And we also have the Elimination Race on RGT on Sunday as well. But as I said, all the information in the, in the description below for them. Let's talk about weight loss. This week, I'm really, really happy. I've managed to lose four pounds. Considering last week with zero, it was great to get a, a nice big loss this week, which takes me up to 24 pounds. And still sticking with the keto diet. I will be honest, it has been a bit of a struggle the last couple of weeks. With doing family things, and obviously having the Jubilee and the barbecue, the barbecue is okay to stick to because it is pretty much meat anyway, but it's the stuff that goes with it. Uh, and being the Jubilee celebration, people have made cakes and brownies and things. And I was so good. I just, I didn't have any of it. Going out to theme parks, it's slightly more difficult to make sure that you're sticking with a keto diet, taking the food with you and stuff. So it has been difficult. I have been tempted, but I have stuck to it. I have stuck below my carb limit and the weight is still coming off. So I don't think I could do any more than that. I've got about six or seven weeks left on the keto diet before I want to wean myself off before my brother's wedding. So I'm about halfway through. I don't expect to lose another 24 pounds because you don't get that initial 
boost that you get the first couple of weeks where you're on a diet, but hopefully maybe another stone off in that time. I don't know, maybe not quite that much, but I'm sure gonna keep it going, try and get as much off as I possibly can. And I'm really happy with it so far. So long may that continue. Uh, I wanna say a huge thank you as usual to the channel members on Buy Me A Coffee and on YouTube. If it's something you're interested in, all the information is in the description below. Thank you to you guys. That is the end of this one. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.